When Germany started occupying Poland during World War II, the Soviet Union also started occupying Poland from the other side. But the Allies declared war on Germany but did not declare war on the Soviet Union. In this video we explain the reason why Britain didn't declare war on the Soviet Union is an intriguing one. Britain appeared to be legally obliged to attack Soviet Union, literally, at once, and to provide all the support and assistance in its power, per the 1939 pact. There was no legal trick that allowed Britain to avoid this, at least that is what appeared to be the case. Britain recognized Poland as a country, and the pact obviously didn't require Poland to be recognized by invaders. The pact did not require Poland to declare war on an enemy. Moreover, Ambassador Ronchinsky requested such help from Britain as soon as Soviet Union attacked, and Halifax declined without any meaningful public justification. Halifax said, as regards Soviet aggression we were free to take our own decision and to decide whether to declare war on the USSR or not. However, Unknown to the general public there was a secret protocol to the 1939 Anglo-Polish Treaty that specifically limited the British obligation to protect Poland to aggression from Germany. When people questioned why Britain did nothing when the Red Army moved on Poland, the British government considered revealing the existence of the secret part of the agreement. However, they decided not to. Sir Alexander Cadogan of the Foreign Office explaining privately that to do so would only provoke curiosity about the existence of similar secret protocols attached to other treaties. An answer, given in the House of Commons in October 1939 revealed only that the Poles had understood that the agreement should only cover the case of aggression by Germany. From the outset, Soviet aggression was treated differently to German aggression. On a practical level this was because the British had already shown that they could not defend Poland against one aggressor, let alone two, but it was also because the mandarins in the foreign office considered the eastern borders of Poland somewhat fluid, after all. They had only been fixed the treaty that ended the Polish-Soviet war less than 20 years earlier. Sir William Seeds, British ambassador to Moscow, wrote in a secret telegram on the 18th of September 1939. I do not myself see what advantage war with the Soviet Union would be to us, and that our war aims are not incompatible with reasonable settlement, in Poland, on ethnographic and cultural lines. Behind the scenes. The British felt there was a clear balance to be struck between morality and traditional, old-fashioned national self-interest. Yet, in the popular consciousness, this war is still considered almost a crusade against all evil. France was not legally obliged by any pact to attack Soviet Union or to send troops to Poland to help. The 1921 Franco-Polish Treaty specified the extent of help, which amounted to keeping the communication lines free between France and Poland. The 1939 pact, already ratified on September 4, was strictly against Germany, and had no provisions against Soviet Union. This is my understanding of the Polish situation in September 1939. I hope you enjoy our video. If you enjoy our video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share.